The ratio of blue marbles to green ones is 4 to 3. If there are 84 marbles, how many green marbles are there? Now first we gotta talk about what 4 to 3 even means. Now all there is to 4 to 3 is that for every 4 marbles, I'm gonna have 3 more green ones. But this doesn't really tell us exactly how many green marbles there are. I mean, they didn't tell us that there's exactly three green marbles. They just, told, they just told us that every four blue marbles are gonna be three green marbles. Not exactly three. I mean, it's not gonna have a total of three green marbles. So, don't be <laughs> tricked by that. Don't think that the answer is just simply three. And here's a little trick about ratios, and we're going to have to know the trick to solve this problem. 12 to 3, we can scale ratios up and down. And remember, 12 to 3 means that every 12 blue marbles, I'm going to have, again, three green ones. So we can scale a ratio up by multiplying both numbers of the ratio by the same number. For example, I can multiply... each one, each the 12 and the 3, both of them by 2, and to get the same ratio. So 12 to 3 is also equal to 24 to 6. And I can also scale ratios down. We call that simplifying ratio, just like how you would simplify any old fraction. So we can divide both of these numbers by 3 and still get the same ratio if we divide by the same number that is. And we just compute these. Four here, one here. So 12 to three is also equal to four to one. But something that this is not equal to, not, we can't subtract or add the same number to both sides. For example, we can't like say I like, subtract two this is not equal to 10 to 1. Okay, we'll get the completely different thing. Because, well, think about it. How can 4 to 1 equal to 10 to 1? That's impossible. So we can't subtract the same number to both sides, nor can we add. We can't, like, add 3 to both sides to get 15 to 6. I mean, how can 15 to 6 equal 24 to 6? That doesn't make any sense either. So, got that down? Again, no adding or subtracting. <laughs> to both sides, and you can multiply and divide. That's the only things you can do. So here we just have to, we just have to like, I mean, there's two ways to solve this problem, but since if you're, if, you're, if you're a beginner, I'll teach you this way. So we can just scale these up until we get to a total of 84 marbles. Well, we first, we can multiply both of these numbers by 10, 4 times 10 to 3 times 10. And of course, 3 times 10 and 4 times 10, that's 40 to 30. Hmm, 40 to 30. 40 plus 30 is 70. Not quite there, we're just missing 14. Then how about we multiply both sides by 15? That's another very whole number. Uh, 4 times 15, that's 60. Hmm. How many doubts about this? 60 is a large number, actually. 3 times 15 is 45, and 105 marbles. That's way too many. Now let's think about a number between. About 12 or 13. That's the two numbers between them. Here's this. Multiply both sides by 12. 4 times 12 to 3 times 12. Again, we have to multiply both sides by the same number. Can't play favorites. We have 48 on this side, left side, and 36 on our other side. We add these and we get 84. Got that? So, last step of the problem is to read the question. They want how many green marbles are there? Not the ratio. I mean, if we write down 48 to 36, we'd be wrong. They want whole number. And this is green, this is green. 36 is our answer. Now, another way to solve this problem 
Just look at how many parts there are in our ratio. We see each one of these four marbles is one part, four parts, and each one of these three greater marbles, they're also one part. So there's four parts plus three parts is seven parts. But how do we find, so I mean, so all we have to do is find out how many marbles are there in one part. And then we can just find the number of one parts, I mean, find how many marbles there are in one part if there are 84 marbles, and just multiply the, our answer by three, which is what we want, the number of green marbles. So again, how do we find how one part is? What one part is worth? Well, there's 84 marbles. Each part has to be the same. I mean, you probably guessed that already. So each part has to be the same. So I just have 84 divided by seven, which is 12. So we got, I mean, not that, not circle that. So we got 12 numbers, I mean 12 marbles in one part, if there are 84 marbles in total. So again, read a question. You want how many green marbles, not how many marbles are in one part. We just multiply this by three. Three times 12, which is 36. Did the same problem two different ways, got the same answer. We're pretty sure we're right.